Welcome guys, this is Deco Freak here, and this is going to be my Amnesia Custom Story Tutorial. So, today I'm going to begin the first episode and setting up for an Amnesia Custom Story. So how will that work? Well, there are some things you will need to know beforehand, and before you even get started on setting everything up. Some things you will need to know before the Custom Story creation. You will need dedication patience and you will need inspiration this is because it's very it's a lot of work and you may get overwhelmed and it's very good to know what you want to do specifically not just go about doing random things if you need some inspiration if you go to the frictional games community or any other forums that you think may be helpful just po give a post there and ask for what ideas you want if you can't think of any yourself but it's always good to go along with what you want. Next, think of a custom story creation as a journey and not as a location. It is all about the hard work you'll put into learning your custom story. You will get stumped. At some point, you must not give up. If anything, you will take a break and start over. When I started, I did pretty much the same thing. I was trying. I would fail. Nothing would work. The, they would do it they would do it in in the um tutorials I would search up and everything and I would keep trying and trying and it would never work and I at one point I just gave up but then a month later I decided to start up again and then everything started working again everything started making sense and this was let me say it about six months ago and now I consider myself one of the advanced one of the advanced custom story creators out there what you will need so now what you will need for the actual creation as in software and stuff like that uh, I'll show a video on how to set everything up and where you can get all this stuff I'll put the links in the description um, the first thing is HPL editor suite this will consist of everything you need to actually get started and start on your mapping for uh, for amnesia so what's mapping well, mapping is the actual, the actual rooms and doors and everything in the map that you will that the character will see. Nothing background at the moment, but everything you will the player will see. So you will absolutely need need this. It will also come with other tools like model editor and particle editor, I believe. And we'll only be using level editor so we can make the maps for the custom stories notepad plus plus or any other scripting software you may prefer uh, I started with notepad plus plus and I've always loved notepad plus plus and I don't think I'll be changing anytime soon because I, I, I like the way it works and it run, runs fairly nice but there are some other ones I've seen I can't recall the name but they save the the um, functions in the script this is for scripting and um, it saves the function and they save the functions more advanced ones that you got to pay for um, They save the function for you and next time you need to type it up It'll bring out the whole layout for you and you don't even need to Bother to go back and copy and paste, but I, I It's it's a lot of repetition in scripting, so it's okay to use um Notepad plus plus to get started. If you ever want to get a new one, you can always do some research and find a better one if you really want. But my tutorials will consist around Notepad plus plus, but it shouldn't be any different. Frictional Games Wiki on HPL. This is essential. This is what you will get all your commands from. And if you ever need any tutorials, they always have it. They have picture tutorials. So they, if you want to learn how to do better lighting, if you want to learn how to do this, you want to learn how to do that. It will show you in series of steps and pictures showing you how you will accomplish this goal. And this will allow this will allow you to get, you know, the, the, the basics of everything. But, but there's one page especially that I will also show you. It's the it's like um all the script functions that you will ever need to use in Amnesia. And this will and this will let you know of everything you can possibly do in the game more on that when we get to it and lastly a source to get scary sounds music and etc so you know you'll, you'll obviously need a scoop spooky ab ambience and um 
you need some good music to go along with that. And maybe if you're going to do like jump sounds or, you know, creepy sounds that'll get the player all scared and stuff, you need a place to get those kind of sounds and stuff. And some some more stuff, possibly. If I come across it, I'll let you guys know. And, yeah, I believe that's about it. But before I move on to the video to show you how to set up, uh, a couple more th a couple more things about this tutorial in general. I'm going to try and post a video every week between the length of maybe 15-30 minutes. I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm going to try and keep it at 15 and maybe do two a week. So it could be about 30 because I don't want to upload 30 minute videos. And I think 15 is the max anyways. So I'll do 15 minute tutorial videos about two a week hopefully if I if I have the time if not maybe just one so just you know if you you're interested subscribe and you know eventually I'll post some more and yeah so I'll be showing you how to go along this process and every day I'll be showing you new techniques and new things far more than what people like to do but before we get started we need to get the basics like creating the room, creating some lighting, creating some doors, and then eventually getting to the scripting part for the keys and for notes and for etc. Alright, so let's hit it to the video now. Alright guys, we're back and here we are on um, the HPL, the HPL editor suite page for the download. Alright, so here we have the page with all this with um where you can find the download. I will put this link in the description. Um this will be the tools like I said and we will we will learn how to install this. Also another page you might want to keep in mind is this um Notepad Plus Plus. Right now it says six point three. Um this is their download page. If you this is this this link doesn't work for some reason, you can always just you know search it yourself. But as for this frictional game ones, it usually never changes, so it should stay about the same. But yeah, here's where you can get Notepad Plus Plus. Click whichever um, download you want to take. I would say pick the top three, which is installer, zip, and seven zip. Installer is a lot simpler, so just go with installer, unless you prefer the zip. Um, all right, now. I'm gonna show you where you can find the script, the scripts for the, for the game, for the engine and stuff, and that will be under HPL2, Amnesia, and Engine Scripts. On this page, you will find all the scripts. So we'll learn how to get to these in a in a few, and I will also be giving templates to you guys. Because I'm sure you guys don't want to have to look through this and be like, oh, what does this do? Oh, what does that do? I'll be um, uploading constantly. Uh, no, uh, the um, the notepad, um, the the the, the uh, my notepad files, so that you can use it. And I'll be, I'm gonna make it like a template on the side, uh, where I'll store all the commands and how you will input the information. And you guys can download that and use that in your when you're learning this to make it a lot easier and for you not to make any any scripting mistakes and eventually you will learn a lot of these commands and you could just type them up by hand me I can do majority of them at, by hand but it takes me a little time to remember them so I just prefer to look, look back where I used it before copy it and then you know bring it down because it's a lot more efficient that way and especially when you have to do a lot of scripting you will want to um you will want to not have to live the hell of having to constantly type every single one. Alright, so those are about the three pages. They will all be in the description. Now let's just go back and download this. I will be showing you how to do it in Windows. I believe it is different in um, Linux and um, Mac, but this is for PC Windows and yeah, I would yeah, it might be a little a little bit different, but for me I will do it Windows. So now the um the file is done. It is in a win in a in a um zip file. So this can be opened with like you know WinRAR and and um other um archive software. 
So here we have the um, the the um, basics. These are all the tools, but we have to put them somewhere, and this will go in your root amnesia fo folder. Um, uh, what I what I will do now is um, I have the amnesia on my desktop, so I will right click it and and hit open file location, and it will take me directly to where amnesia is installed. As you can see, this is on your C drive. I'll just go through this again. This is on your in computer, your C drive. Then program files. It's 32 bit, so it is going to come up as x86. Um, amnesia, the dark descent. And here, and it might be a different location. If you have, if you if you have it on, if you bought it on Steam and you have it downloaded through Steam. I will post the destination because I'm not sure what destination it is now, but um, I will post the destination in the in the description for for um, if you have it in Steam. Now, if you bought it through like um, CD or if you bought it directly from them on their website, you may have something like this with something called the Redis folder. And I I bought it through the CD when it when, when I first got it, so I have it through um. Um, Redis here, so I will put my stuff in Redis. So in Redis here we have um, all your all your f root files of Amnesia, and you will take all this stuff and drag it into here. But that should be about all to uh, that should be all uh, all you need. And yeah, so now you can actually start up the level editor now. So um, be uh. I will expect you guys to have already installed Notepad++ at this point. Notepad++ is a simple installer, so I don't think you'll need me to show you that. Um, so let's just jump right into the level editor so that we can get started right away. Um, actually, something I completely forgot before this, we had to set up um, the folder where your custom story is going to be. And I think that will take the rest of the, the episode instead of the level editor. Sorry about that guys, but it's gonna have to um it's gonna have to wait for the next episode, so alright. So now I just wanna point you guys could you guys out to something. In custom in custom stories, you see here, it um they all have their own folder and inside the folder it has like this type of this type of setting here. Well, we're gonna have to do that before we actually start creating the maps. Yeah, I know it's a little stupid or whatever, but I'm going to point you guys out to a template that I set up prior that has a few commands already, a few scripting things down there in the in the um in the video in the files itself. Sorry, I'm stuttering so much, and yeah, I'm gonna take I'm gonna put the link in the description and I'll meet you there. All right, guys, so here we are. Um, this is the media uh, I, I uploaded it to Mediafire, and I will be providing the link in um, the description for you to download it. So you can go ahead and just download that, and it's going to be in a archive type um, format. So you know you'll need WinRAR or 7-Zip or whatever you use. I might also put that in the description as well. Um, okay, so now here we have the the root of the. Um, files so let me just go ahead and put this on my desktop somewhere um, okay so now we have that extracted